Okay, so let's try the map counter problem again. So I'm going to paste my old code. So what we're going to do now is optimize this code, right? And the key area that seems to be slowing things down is this loop in the set to max function. Because every time the set to max is called, what's happening is that we're looping through the entire array and that increases that a nested loop basically um, causes a n square complexity right so based on how in on worst in worst case if the set to max is called every single time for every single operation that's going to be n squared all of n squared complexity which we don't want so now that we know this what is the simpler way in order to approach optimizing this without having to uh, loop through um, the entire array every time that um, the counter is greater than n how can we replace this that is the question right so if you think about it all we really need to do is store to, all we need to do is store calls set to max once right because we know the largest number um, we know that when set to max is called that all the numbers in the counter will be set to the value of um, the maximum number at that point in time right and any other time so basically from the point on if any number is lower than the max that we're updating we could automatically start updating from the last updated counter value max, right? And afterwards, what we can do is iterate through the same array and any number that is lower than uh, the max counter value wasn't touched or updated by the counter. So we can automatically set that to the max counter value, okay? I hope that made sense so we'll need a new uh, variable called last updated max counter value right and so in this case when we hit this particular condition we're going to say last updated max counter values equal to max counter value, which we're actually storing on every um, iteration of the array. However, we don't need to um, we don't need to actually um, do anything with this currently, right? So if this is the case. Um, for every so if um, we hit a counter position then we can continue because we know that in this case there's nothing else going to happen because the counter position is beyond what is um, acceptable right so now for every single other increment right before we increment it we can check whether the counter position is less than the last updated counter value right and if that is the case we can set our counter equal to last updated counter value this way we're only going through this loop once right Now we'll iterate through the loop once more 
but this time we're iterating through our counter, right? So i is less than counter dot length, and if counter of pos minus one is less than last updated max counter value, set this value equal to last updated counter value. This had me scratching my head for a bit because this could get a bit confusing, but I believe this should do it. Nope. Counter pass is not defined. Oh, this should be I. Run code. Okay, so that looks good. To avoid things like this, I suggest you actually write out the steps even if it seems simple and go through the process I mentioned in other videos. But uh, I think this should speed it up enough in order to pass the case because that's all of n plus m complexity where each of the separate loops is a different character, right? So, okay, let's see how it works out. Now it's figuring it out, and there we go, we got 100%. And that was because now we no longer have a nested loop, right? Because we don't need this set to max nested loop. All we need is two separate loops, and we only use the set to max uh, functionality once we eliminated that and thus optimized our code so that it runs um, exponentially faster in worst case. I hope that helped, and uh, yeah, that is the codality max counters problem.